pick me says it's Marisha Barbie pink Barbie I should be wearing pink right now I literally don't wear pink I don't have any pink I really don't I have that one pink shirt for that one pink and black event that I told y'all about in the cake tales where I got harassed over a cupcake <laughs> hey cake nistas it's Marisha how are you guys feeling? Are y'all feeling ready for the springtime? Are you feeling energized, vibrant, and alive? I have a very fun video for y'all. This is definitely for the party girl. I think this was trending a couple of years ago. A mother emailed me, my daughter's away at school, she's turning 21 and I can't get to her but I want her to have a special cake for her birthday. Can you make her a drunk Barbie cake and take it to her? Absolutely I can. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a drunk Barbie cake. It's basically Barbie, she's been drinking. She's been drinking and she passed out on the cake and she threw up sprinkles. This cake usually comes with liquor bottles on top or around it. Like I said, it's a party cake. <laughs> We're gonna have fun making this cake. If you haven't done so yet, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and that you press on the notification bell, okay? Okay, then let's get started. And that's it. The flavor of this cake is cookies and cream. Y'all, I haven't made a cookies and cream cake since I did that Chick-fil-A cup. Now, I want to make that cake in a whole separate video, and I'm just gonna show you guys how I decorate it in this video right here. Check the description down below for the link to my cookies and cream cake. So to make this, I did two layers of chocolate cake using my black cocoa powder, and then I did a layer of vanilla cake using my one bowl amazing, can't go wrong vanilla cake recipe. So I started off with a chocolate cake layer, and then I added some vanilla buttercream on top of that. A nice hefty layer of chocolate sandwich or Oreo cookies, and then I added my vanilla cake layer. And then I added more buttercream, more cookies, and my chocolate cake layer. Just like a big old chocolate sandwich cookie. Once I have my cookies and cream cake ready, I'm going to crumb coat this cake and refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes. Beautiful you are. I went on Amazon, I bought my Barbie. I chose um, Popstar Barbie. Cause look at this outfit. Look at the iridescent skirt. Ugh, look at the glitter crop top. And then the purple hair, she's all tan. She could be having a fun karaoke good time. Goodness gracious. I never knew Barbie came like that. Is this a new thing? Look at that, I love this. If I could get one in an extra large. Oh, this is her singing arm. So Barbie's right-handed, okay? You gotta make her look a little disheveled. It's drunk Barbie. I just love this color. It's like an electric pink. It's got a little tinge of purple. So this is actually kind of inspiring me for the accent color that I'm going to be doing on the cake. That's given. It's been about 30 minutes. Barbie's a career girl, so there were so many different options. I almost got Dr. Barbie by accident. That would have been weird on a drunk Barbie cake. Now I'm going to fully cover my cake and my vanilla buttercream frosting and this is a six inch cake just so that you guys know. At this point I'm going to grab a cake comb with ridges. So these little ridges will make an indentation in the cake that will resemble stripes. At this point once I get it nice and smooth I'm going to refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes. Now I made some purple colored buttercream and once again this is inspired by Barbie's hair. I put the buttercream in a sandwich bag and I snipped off the corner so that I can pipe that frosting right in between the ridges and if I can help it you know let it just literally be in between those ridges give or take a mess up or two okay. Once I have my stripes pipe, I'm then going to take a regular cake smoother and go around that entire cake, usually between five and eight times or until you get clear stripes. It is the best feeling when those stripes just come through looking amazing. Like, how'd you do that? <laughs> 
once that is to my liking i am going to create my drips yes this is a fabulous drip cake once again it's in pink resembling barbie's hair i'm using a drip chocolate that actually comes in a bottle that i absolutely love if i can i will definitely put a link in the description for this chocolate because it's amazing it's so convenient you literally just put it in the microwave for 30 seconds shake it and it's ready to go and yes it comes in a variety of different colors if you don't have this or if you don't plan on getting it you can always do a chocolate ganache you can even grab some pink candy melts add a little bit of heavy cream and make a candy melt ganache i'm now going to place barbie onto my cake i removed the shoe i made her look a little bit scruffy i think she may be ready to go hey forget pop star barbie now it's drunk barbie that's really sad all right all right all right get in there barbie oh my gosh oh gosh <laughs> that's it <laughs> oh gosh i can't her other shoe can be a topper. Okay. And this is still pretty wet. So I did that on purpose. Now I have so many sprinkles, so many. I have three of these, all different kinds. So I'm just going with one that actually really fits the theme. Just going to make a trail. I'm just gonna kind of like use my little tool here and kind of push it. That's not working at all. A little bit of a sprinkle border. So I definitely had to figure out how I was going to make this stream going down the cake, this stream of sprinkles. I'm pretty much just pushing it off of the little scoop that I have that I use for sprinkles. And I'm just pushing it onto the cake. And initially, I didn't know what kind of border I was going to do, but the sprinkles are already down there. I think it's actually pretty cute to make a nice little sprinkle border. So that's what I'm going to do. But it is working out. It's a little bit, you know, tedious and time consuming, but that's cake decorating in general. Now in that moment, I also decided that I wanted a nice swirly festive border as well, but I didn't want to close in the whole top of the cake or the base of the cake it's already just a six inch cake so i made like a partial border i've never even really seen this before but this is something that i've done in the past i feel like this type of border on this cake it keeps it open it doesn't look all tight and restrained it looks fun and festive and it's just different and then you could of course still see those sprinkles at the bottom now for your liquor bottles, you definitely want to wash them off, please. Please don't get any random bottles or anything from the liquor store and just plop them onto a cake. That is so nasty, okay? Um, wash them off, do some alcohol as well. That's what I do, I do both. So, I mean, it's gonna sit right onto the cake. You can also make it a little bit more glammed up and just make little ribbons, bows on the top of the bottles and then stick them in. Typically, it's like three to four bottles for the cake. I soak these bottles in some soapy water and then I wipe them down with some alcohol and then I let them air dry as well. So they are completely ready to go. Now I'm using some buttercream of course to make these stick. The top of the cake was still a little bit wet so that top bottle could stick right in there and I did secure it with a little bit more of that chocolate. I found a cute little happy birthday sign and that's it. You've got a surprisingly cute almost kind of classy in a way super fun drunk barbie cake what do you guys think of this would you get this for your birthday this cake was for its 21st birthday so do you feel like it was appropriate <laughs> let me know in the comments down below and i will see y'all in the next video couture and a drunk barbie cake bye guys What did you guys think of this video? Would y'all try this? Would you surprise somebody with this cake? It's always funny when I go to the liquor store, I'm completely clueless every time I'm like, hey. I usually just go to get vodka for painting cakes and for making my vanilla extract. I'm like, I just need the cheapest vodka. What's that looking like? Where are your rums at? Do you know which one will be the best in cakes? Would it be like a dark rum? They're looking at me like, what? Girl, and then it gets to, are you 21? Am I? <laughs> the cake
take me so comment of the day is going to go to Chris Tills 91 on my deep fried ice cream cake and ice cream cones Chris says look at mama stepping up you gotta let her make something for us one day or let her give us a cake tail I have tried to pull a cake tail out of mommy. She'll be like, I don't know what happened. You tell it better than I do. It's like majority of what happens happens to me personally, usually on the phone. It's really me on everything. People don't realize that. And then my mom joins for the events and my sister may join as well. She may help out for events. She does have a few videos on this channel. She did the apple cobbler, which is amazing. Her sweet potato pie. And then she also tried to follow my Easter bunny cake tutorial and she made her own Easter bunny cake. I love that video. Thank you so much for your comment. I definitely appreciate you. You've been commenting a lot on almost every video. You're amazing. If you would like to be featured in the next video, comment down below, say hello, and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, cake nieces and cake nistos. Life in plastic. Who can run more? Did y'all see the Barbie movie? I didn't. Can you believe that? Did y'all like it? Please tell me that in the comments before I like turn it on.